in the next 15 minutes, I will show you 15 insane Canva AI tips and tricks that will take you from complete beginner to pro when it comes to creating digital products as well as other projects you're doing within Canva. And I assure you by the end of this video, you must have learned something new you didn't know before now. Let's dive right in. The first tip would be, imagine if you have an image like this that is very cool, but it's very short and you want to expand it towards your left or towards your right. What you need to do is to just click on the image, go to edit photo, come into magic expand. This is a pro feature. Once you click on magic expand, it's going to give you a plethora of sizes, which you could choose from that you want to expand to, but I want to use free form to give me a bit of control. So once you click on free form, come into the edge of the image and drag it to where you want to expand. I just wanted to expand a little bit to my left and click on magic expand. What it's going to do is that it's going to try to generate image or images which you can choose from that could fill this to the left. So this is almost similar to what is called generative fill in things like Photoshop or any other AI tool. You could see that the image you already generated looks really cool and realistic so let's look at other images that they generated this is not bad this is a little bit wonky we're not going to use this this is not bad as well but we like the first one if you didn't like any of these options just click on generate new results and they generate new images for you once you ch choose the image you want click on done and that image is expanded and this is really cool so another tip would be what if you just want to pull out this text the Canva is cool and you want to put it out from this image because you want to replace this or you want to rewrite what is here. What you just need to do is click on the image, go to edit photo and go to grab text. This is also a pro feature as well. And this will be processed. And what it's going to do is that it's going to extract this text from this image. You can see I just moved it out, which is really cool. You could add a new text here or you could even edit this text. The good thing is that you can edit it to the same font that the text came in. I could say Canva is fun and it edits perfectly well, which is really cool. The next thing would be, what if I just want to grab this image out of the background and I also want to maintain the background. I don't want to destroy the background. What I need to do would be to click on the image, go to edit photo and click on magic group. And once you click on that, it's going to extract this image from the background. Let's see the magic. So we just pull. You see how this extracted is? This is the background. Let's keep the background to the side. This looks really stunning and everything looks very cool. So now imagine that we have extracted this and we want to change some bad this into things like a sticker or we want to give it like a basic outline. What we could do, let's use this image here. We'll just click in here and go to effects and go to shadows. Once we click on shadow, you can either use glow or outline, but let's use glow for this. You go to glow. We're going to change the glow from black to white. So we see the effect. All right. And then in terms of the size, we just increase the size a little bit. The blow amount, we take it down. Then in terms of the intensity, we could just increase the intensity a little bit. As you could see, voila, you have your sticker just right there. You could always download this image and use it for your sticker, depending on how you want to play this when it comes to image outline. Another tip that I have, it's not AI related, but it's something that I've noticed on Etsy where people sell animated or cartoon portraits of different um, pets. Definitely, there's a way to do it in Canva. I just learned this um, recently, which got me really excited. Assuming we want to change these dogs into a cartoon effect, what you could need to do is click on the image, go to edit photo. When you scroll down, you will notice that there's a limitation of the apps. What you need to do is to click here. It will ask you, do you want to use the old editor? Say yes. So revert to the old edit. Click on the image again and go to edit image. You will see this called Prisma, click on Prisma. Prisma is going to give you a um, couple of effects. I think seven of them that you could use to make this look like a painting or a tune. We'll just use a couple of those for these three images. If I use like the passion fruit, you could see to change the image to a cartoon effect. 
As you can see how we did this, I will remove the background shortly. Let's do this for this. We go to Prisma Rail again. Let's use the snowfall effect on this particular dog image and see how that compares to the other one. You can see how this looks. And the last one that I'll be using would be, I uh, will use the storm effect. You can see also how this looks. These are exactly what you could do if you want to sell these on Etsy. To remove the background of this image, you can just always click on the edit image and click on remove background and it will remove the background of the images of the dogs and you could download them and send it to your customer. To access Canva Pro, there's a link in the description box that helps you access Canva Pro for free for the first 30 days so you could check that link in the description box moving on to the next set of tips that have to do with graphics there are two sets of graphics in canva one is a vector graphics when you click on the vector graphics you could see at the very top here that you could change the individual colors of this image but there's another type of graphic that you can change the image you can't even change the color but there's a way to do that so for the vector graphics you could always click on the color and change it to whatever you like. But for things like this image that you can't change the color, what you need to do is you click on the graphics, click on image, and we're gonna go back to the original settings of Canva. So just say, click on this, check it out. And then we're gonna scroll down under effects, scroll to the left, you're gonna see draw tone, click on it. As you can see here, it gives you different tones, which you could change the image to. Click into ones, for example. You could see that it provides colors for you to change. You could now come in here and change the color as you deem fit. You could change any color to fit or whatever that you are designing. Still on the conversation of graphics, when we go to elements and come in here, for instance, I want to search for flower graphics as you can see assuming i want to look for a specific type of design what you could do most of the time is or what i used to do before now is i'll just find the one i like once you click on it it's going to give you for example magic recommendations which is okay you could also find similar things here but another way to go about it would be you could click on this three ellipses and it will tell you the keywords that this represents this particular graphics we have here. Use the keywords to search for similar graphics. So when we say show all keywords, it will tell you the keywords to use. Or also, you could also click on view more by the author that uploaded this graphics and it will show you similar images by that author. As you could see, there are similar images here like this one these are similar images and that's a very quick way to find graphics within the canva platform next tip would be assuming you have multiple graphics like this and you want to align them you most of the time people might want to just click on them and move them around to align that's in you wasting your time what you could easily do is you could select the graphics let's select this first five at the very top and you could click on position. You have different arrangements here. So you could just say tidy up and immediately it aligns your images for you. You don't need to trust yourself arranging them one after the other. Let's do this again. You select all the images, go to position, go to tidy up. It tidies up everything for you. You could do left, right, but this makes your work so much easier. The next thing would be if you want to change your color palettes on how do you actually do that for instance we i have these images that i created for my consistent character tutorial and for these images assuming i want to put in a text box here that represents or fits in with the color scheme of these characters what you could always do is once you click on each image or you click on the box that you want to change the color go to the color box and here automatically canvas ai is going to pick out the color of the images within the context of the page you're working on as you can see it gives you white and every other color within this context and you could go ahead and choose any color that you deem fit to fit your color scheme which is really cool and comes very handy so that is what you could also use to generate different color palettes Another thing else would be image quality. This is something that has been very controversial for a while in the sense that if you want to download these images from Canva and you go to share and go to download and choose a PNG and download this image as it is, it's going to download this image 
with a low resolution about of about nine. And if you're going to use this image for um, online design without having to print it, that will be fine. But if you have to print this, you will need to download this at least for as high as 300 DPI. So to solve that problem, what you could always do is you could come in here and increase the size of the image three times. So you could increase it or even increase it all the way up which is 3.125 or three times will be fine. And once you click and download, this image will be in 300 DPI as a PNG. Another way to do this would be you could also download this as a PDF print, best for print. And once you download this as a PDF, you could use any PDF to PDF. ENG converter out there and convert your image and your quality still remain. We don't need to take this another tool to do that. You could do all of these within Canva. Another thing I wanted to show in terms of another trip and trick would be assuming I have this image here, which is a design for my t-shirt and I want to put this in a mock-up. What you could do is to click on the image, go to edit photo and here you could see mock-up. And here I want to put it on an apparel. So let me just put it on this image. I'm just going to pull this image, pull this design aside, reduce it a little bit. And I'm going to go in here and expand this because I want to drag this image into here. Just click and drag and leave it. It's going to load and automatically it's going to place that design on that mockup. You don't even need to leave Canva to use some of the smart mockups that it has. So you could check that out as well. The next set of tips would be for text. Assuming I want to morph this um, text into something interesting, what you could do is to come into the left hand side, click on apps. Here, I'm going to click on magic morph. And once you click on magic morph, click on this, it's going to open up. Uh, this is already selected and it's going to ask you, what do you want this to look like? These are some examples. If you want to look at like a balloon pumpkin wood here i'll just say water let's see what it's going to do and click on magic morph it's going to generate four different options which you could choose from based off of what you like we we'll just click on one as you can see this gives us a bit of water effect let's click on the second one to see which is better this is not bad you could just play around if you don't like any of these you could always click create again and a new one is going to generate for you the last tip for text would be if we want to do things like change the how this text looks like or we want to warp it or change it a little bit what you could do you could come in here and under the apps and type for type craft and click on it it's going to load then you would go ahead and put in the text so here we want to do welcome and here you're going to choose a couple of fonts. It doesn't have very extensive fonts, but it has a lot that you could work with. Let's choose this for instance. And then you could choose whether you want it to be filled or not filled, depending on the outline. You could increase the border as you deem fit. But here you could click and then move the shapes based off of how you want it to look like. You could see how this looks. So you could morph it to what you want. And once you're satisfied with how this looks like, you could also click on elemental design and as you can see here it gives you that morphed text which is really cool the next set of tips i'll be talking about would be videos of which are very interesting tips so what you would do is come into the canva home you would see magic design for videos this helps you to compile multiple images into a video i've used this in my last video and it was really interesting let's click on try magic design it's going to open up and it's going to ask you to choose a couple of images so let me choose some images that i have here i'm just going to choose one two and three and then it will ask you to describe the type of video you want this to be so i'll just say a video about the the image generation tool and then it will you click on generate and it will start generating the video for you the good thing is immediately it generates the images it puts in some text here which you could choose to move it aside depending on what you want and it puts in some music as well let's just play this and see how this looks like
Okay, this is not bad, but this is obviously a starting point if you want to create something very quick and then make a date to that in terms of creating um, images to videos. Another tip that I also wanted to show would be if you want to generate videos by text alone. So let's just go back to the apps and we'll search for Magic Media. Click on Magic Media. You have the image of this. I've covered this before in the previous video. This helps you to generate um, images from text, but this is new text to video. So this is um, powered by Runway ML. What we could do here, we could type in something here. So let's just type in. It says here that in terms of human beings, it's still trying to fix some things in terms of that. So let's just try typing something very basic. We could say ocean view. Let's see what it's going to generate for us and click on generate again. Yeah, so this is done and we could just click on this and you could see it gives us the ocean view video just as at a go. You could go ahead and try this out. So the last tips I'll be showing when it comes to video is you could always remove the background from videos in Canva. Just click on a particular video, go to edit video and click on remove background and it automatically removes the background of that video these are the tips and tricks i wanted um, to share with you today let me know in the comment section below the ones you found very intriguing the ones you have used before and the ones you are seeing for the very first time and if you haven't liked this video kindly do that like this video hit on the subscribe button and don't forget to use the link below to assess a 30-day free trial for your canva pro to test out all these cool features thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one